Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. Today I want to speak directly to anyone who's feeling defeated, anyone who's struggled again and again with bad habits, with sins, and might even be starting to lose hope. Maybe you've set goals, tried to stop, promised yourself and Allah to do better, but still find yourself slipping back. This message is for you. You are more than your sins. You are more than this struggle, and Allah has not abandoned you. Section 1. Acknowledge the struggle. It's natural to feel overwhelmed when you keep relapsing. That feeling of guilt, maybe even shame, it's real. But feeling guilt is a sign that your heart is still alive and yearning for Allah's pleasure. Remember, it's shaitan and your nafs, your own soul, who want you to believe that because you've slipped, you are worthless. But Allah doesn't see you that way. Section 2. Understanding Allah's Mercy Allah tells us in the Quran, Say, O my servants who have transgressed against themselves, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. 39.53 This verse is a lifeline for us. Allah is inviting you back no matter how many times you've fallen. His mercy is greater than our mistakes, and He doesn't see you as a lost cause. Each time you feel hopeless, remember that Allah's hope in you is greater than even your own. Section 3. Taking Accountability and Moving Forward It's important to take responsibility, but don't be so hard on yourself that you lose sight of hope. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us that every child of Adam is prone to sin, and the best are those who turn back to Allah in repentance. This means every slip is a reminder, not to punish yourself, but to make a renewed intention to try again and try differently. Section 4. Practical Tips to Keep Moving Forward Here are a few things to keep in mind. 1. Renew your intention regularly. Remind yourself that you're not just giving up a sin, you're moving toward a closer relationship with Allah. 2. Stay close to your Salah. Prayer is your lifeline, even when you feel you're at your lowest. Don't abandon it, make it your anchor. 3. Seek support when you need it. Sometimes talking to a trusted friend or scholar can help keep you on track. 4. Replace the habit with something good. Engage in something beneficial like exercising, reading, or spending time with family. Channeling that energy positively can be a way of redirecting yourself when urges arise. Section 5. A final reminder from the Quran to hold on to. There are countless verses and reminders in the Quran that speak to us, reminding us that Allah's doors of mercy are always open. Reflect on ayahs like, And whoever fears Allah, he will make a way for him and provide for him from sources he could never imagine. 65, 2-3 This is Allah's promise to us if we keep striving. You might not see it immediately, but every step you take towards him is blessed and rewarded. To every brother and sister watching, remember, you are more than your sins. You are a soul deeply loved by Allah, a believer who He sees trying again and again. Don't lose hope. Keep making dua, keep striving, and remember that your efforts are seen and loved by the one who knows your heart best. May Allah grant you strength, guidance, and a heart that never tires of turning back to Him. If you found this helpful, please share it with others who might need encouragement too. Jazakum Allahu Khairan for watching. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.